the under-23 tournament, you know, what expectations have you set for yourself? I know you're kind of a coach that you know, likes to work one game at a time. But for the AFC, you know, what do you hope to see? What do you hope to achieve? What do you want the boys to do when they're in Uzbekistan? Yeah, again, this is um, going to be another challenge for our players at uh, this level. Um, the exposure will be fantastic for these guys and uh, we want to go as far as we possibly can. Uh, again, we will be one of the youngest teams there, I believe, so um, uh, it'll, it will be challenging, but uh, that's what international football is all about. Uh, you know, you want to challenge yourself against the best and uh, we're facing the likes of uh, South Korea in the first match and then uh, Vietnam and Thailand, who are finalists in this match, uh, this tournament, sorry. So um, it'll be uh, another fantastic challenge for this group and uh, we really look forward to it. Hey coach, I mean, a light under, I, I mean, I expect light-hearted answers from you. Uh, what would be the moment of the sea games for you in Hanoi? The one that you would always, you know, hold on to for a long time, something funny, something... Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, but before uh, the, before tomorrow's game, look clearly uh, uh, winning the match against Thailand in the mm. opening game was fantastic. Uh, our players played uh, yeah. full 98 minutes or whatever it was and never gave up. They were relentless in the last 30, 40 minutes, going for the game and getting a result. And uh, in the end, they got the reward. So I think that was thoroughly deserved by these players and uh, a great thing to see for, for, from our point of view. Coach, you have been part of the Malaysian youth setup for quite a while now. You were with uh, Coach Kim Sui and then you coached the under-19 side. These under-19 side are now playing with the under-23 side. I mean, you have seen their journey, their progress and so on. For you, how has it been like, I mean, an Australian trying to help develop the fortunes of Malaysian football? You know, we'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Look, I've thoroughly enjoyed it and um, I've worked with a lot of good players in the last seven or eight years that I've been here. and. Uh, a lot of good individual players and a lot of good teams in general and um, had some great experiences and um, several C Games tournaments, AFC tournaments and so forth. So for me it's great and uh, the satisfaction that I get is to see these players progress and go on to senior football and senior international football and uh, we've seen that with a lot of players that I've worked with over the years and I'm quite sure that uh, the group that uh, we're working with right now uh, we'll form the core group of the senior national team in a few years' time. And, uh, you know, I'd really like to think that uh, it won't be too long before Malaysia will really be a serious uh, contender to qualify for a World Cup. Um, you know, talks about, you know, this coach is not getting his tactic side, he's not playing the football that we want. You know, how do you counter these kind of statements? And, I mean, we know who you are and uh, how you're dealing with it. So, yeah, we'd like to hear it from you. Look, we've always played to our strengths and, and um, as I say, for this group of players, uh, it, overall the complete group is one of the best groups that I've seen uh, at this age group and, uh, you know, we've, we've uh, played uh, with confidence. These players have played without fear regardless of the opposition and, uh, you know, the other night we obviously had a very difficult opponent in, in Vietnam and, um, you know, the players as I say, we're, we're so resilient uh, and uh, we're, I feel we're a bit unlucky to concede when we did. So, um, um, you know, I, I couldn't be happier with the players and their performance and, and uh, they've been able to adapt to different situations. So, for me, that's another thing that um, adds a, a different uh, feather to the players' bow, that they can play different formations, play in, under different circumstances and uh, adapt to whatever tactics that we want to use in the match. So. For me, that uh, just adds to um, the benefit of this squad overall. Okay, and also the likes of Noah Laini and also Kobe J. Chang. I mean, they, uh, Laini trained with you uh, in Malaysia, so looking at his performance, you know, uh, I don't know whether he's going to be selected or not, but based on what you have seen so far, does he bring something different into the squad or is he almost similar with, what, with the plays that we have at the moment? No, I really like uh, what I saw with, with Noah. He came in and he fit straight in, did really well, performed well. Um, you know, he, he would be a great addition. Um, we're still waiting on his documentation, to be honest. So that process was started when he was back in KL 
a few weeks ago, but uh, we're still waiting on the confirmation of that. Um, you mentioned Kobe J. Chong. Uh, I've got a lot of time for him. What I've seen, uh, I think he's a great player. He's playing at a great level. Um, but again, uh, we don't have any documentation on him to play. So uh, it would be great if he can get his documentation. Um, but at the moment, under the circumstances, uh, we're not in a position to select him. Coach, the next question. Um, for the AFC Under-23 Championship, uh, you know that 23 players would be selected. Right now in the SEA Games, you have 20 boys. So will there be chop and changes or will you be sticking with the squad that you have? And who? Are there any you know names that we can look forward to? to when, I mean, the ones that you're adding in for the tournament in Uzbekistan. Yeah, so I don't see too many wholesale changes from what we've got now. These players have, uh, as I say, performed extremely well under tough circumstances and um, you know, this has been a good preparation for the AFC tournament. So uh, I don't see too many changes, but uh, there has been a couple of lads that uh, have been training with us all the while without being able to, to actually play. So um, um, I expect those players to be in the squad. So the likes of Umar Hakim, uh, Fami, uh, Rahadi, um, Aswad is also there. So um, uh, I believe the top up of the squad will come out of those players. Um, we're still considering one or two others that may be uh, on the peripheral, but um, we still need confirmation on those yet. Yeah, so the, the last match against Vietnam was very physically demanding um, among the players and um, you know we've had to look after them in the last 24, 48 hours with the uh, recovery and uh, certain uh, level of medical treatment for a lot of the players. But uh, I can say that the majority of the players are available for selection uh, for tomorrow's match, which is great. Um, and, and looking forward to the AFC, um, you know, we probably need to uh, improve a little bit on going forward. Um, you know, we, we did that a few times the other night against Vietnam, but we struggled to retain possession at times and got muscled off the ball here and there. So uh, I think just our transition from defence to attack uh, can probably do it with a little bit more attention. Um, but other than that, I think that the players are, are performing really well. And, and as I say, I cannot, I cannot fault their effort at all. Okay, coach. Um, it's been a pretty eventful few weeks with the national under twenty three team in the Sea Games. I mean, uh, we would love to hear from you on your take on how the boys have performed from the group stages till now. The bronze medal. I mean, we haven't played in the bronze medal playoff yet, but until now, you know how happy have you been with your progress, and what do you think needs to be fixed before they head to Uzbekistan? Yeah, look. Uh I've been very proud of the boys' performance to date. You know, um, they've performed extremely well, I believe, above all expectation. Uh, when you consider the uh, preparation that we had wasn't entirely so smooth. Um, obviously, certain players had to report at different times with their club commitments and so on. And, um, you know, the initial call-up was obviously as well during the, the month of uh, Ramadan where players were fasting and... Uh, those sorts of things. So there's a lot of challenges in, in the lead-up, but uh, that hasn't perturbed the players at all, and uh, they've really performed well. And um, the last match against Vietnam was uh, the perfect example. The, the players uh, showed so much resilience in that match, and uh, I feel gave everything they got um, to, to uh, perform so well against the host nation was unbelievable, the way they did. So. Uh, unfortunately, the result didn't go our way, but uh, I can't fault their, their efforts.